What's up YouTube? This is Frank from Sess House 1220 and this is kind of a special video because it's our first video that's actually sponsored by evike.com. That's right, so evike was you doing kind of like a user review of some of their products like their Matrix and Angel Custom brands and uh, we were lucky enough to get sent a Angel Custom G2 6.01 Type 4 barrel. So personally I've never had any experience with Type 4 barrels so I was kind of skeptical of seeing how going from a 6.08 brass barrel to a 6.01 stainless steel barrel it makes like a big difference but I am genuinely impressed by how big the difference actually is I did not expect much of a difference at all especially nothing that you should spend 30 or 40 dollars for but I'm sincerely like astounded by how much of a difference it actually can and will make into your gun so this is actually the G2 series, so unlike the G1 series, this is made out of 100% SUS-304 stainless steel, unlike the G1, which was made of, I think, about 80% it was, and a mix of some other metal. But Angel Custom kind of got rid of that, so they're not gonna really going to cheap out here, so you're getting the, probably the best barrel for the money, if not the best barrel you can buy. So the only other companies that actually use the SUS-304 stainless steel that this is made of is PDI and I'm not sure how you say this one but EDGIE edgy not too sure right so moving on if you're not too familiar with type of barrels and what they do and you know why would you spend money on put it in your gun it's supposed to be a large accuracy increase because the stock brass barrels that come in your Chinese AEGs and even your upper end in AEGs like VFCs and you know, your Tokyo Marui's and whatever else is up there, GMPs, they also come with these, so don't be thinking this doesn't apply to you if you're paid $500 for a nice gun. Even the upper end AGs do come with these crappy brass barrels. So, a good upgrade is always um, welcomed. So, Type barrels actually can increase your FPS, but not by much, not by as much as just changing your uh, AG spring can. But you can get maybe a 20 or 30, maybe even 40 FPS increase, depending on the length of your barrel. So, the prices for the Angel Customs can range from $30 for the 230mm version to $58 for the 630mm version. This is actually the 455mm version. I think it's around $40 or $42. Don't quote me on that. And the reason I got this length instead of some of the other ones is because it's going to be tested with an Echo 1 VMG. So the gun is mostly stock, maybe a little bit of replacement parts in it. So I think I felt that would be the best gun to test this barrel in kind of like a vacuum environment. So we will be testing this and doing a shooting test to see how much of a difference the accuracy actually can make. So before I actually shot with this barrel, I did have a different cylinder, so your cylinder has to be the right length f to match your barrel length, and there, I'm not really going to get into that because it's not really the field of this video, but let's just actually open the barrel. Back to the packaging, the packaging is actually phenomenal, like this is not one of those products that you expect to have really nice packaging, so when it actually does, it's kind of surprising, and it really is nice, like it comes in this nice hard plastic tube, so you're not going to have any deformations during shipping. And when moving on to the barrel itself, you actually have these nice rubber caps. And I know what you're saying, like, wow, it's just a rubber cap. But it really does make a difference when it's being shipped. There's not going to be any dust or anything else getting into your barrel. So as soon as this is delivered to you, you'll have a 100% factory fresh barrel ready to install into your gun and increase your accuracy. So because this is actually a tight bore barrel and not one of these kind of barrels, it's absolutely, absolutely, absolutely essential that you use high quality precision BBs like Mad Bull, Airsoft Elites, uh, KSC, KWA, and actually the Matrix brand actually also does well in this barrel. So enough talking about the barrel, we're actually going to be doing a shooting test with the stock barrel and then the upgraded barrel to see how much of a difference we actually can make. So let's move on to that. Due to the fact that all our shooting test videos turned out rather poorly and inconsistent, we're going to be using evike.com's footage from their newest Angel Custom G2 barrel video on their YouTube. The accuracy test comparison of the stock barrel yielded a maximum diameter of 16 inches, 
with an average diameter of 12 inches and the smallest diameter yielded 9.5 inches. The Angel Custom 6.01 type bore barrel yielded a maximum diameter of 9.5 inches, an average diameter of 7 inches, and a smallest diameter of 2.75 inches in the accuracy test comparison.